Hey, so when I recorded the screen capture for this video, I kind of forgot to press the button on OBS that would mute my audio from being recorded by OBS, meaning that all of my audio, instead of being recorded by Audition using my studio microphone, was instead recorded by OBS using my computer's built-in microphone and made that audio a part of the same audio clip that recorded Mason's voice, forcing me to use my terrible audio so that you could still hear him as well. So basically what all that means is I screwed up and that's why the audio is kind of crap. Hopefully this issue will only happen once though, now that I am aware that that is a thing that can happen. So... Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, even though it sounds like I'm talking through a piece of tissue paper the entire time. So, art. Yes. You know, you know art, right? Yeah. Y you're familiar with art. Do you could say that. W what is art? Let's let's start off with that. Let's start. Out, what is art? The expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form, such as painting or sculpture producing works be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. So basically, it's like, you do a thing to create a thing, and people experience a thing, it, right? I mean, yeah, I feel like it's, you don't even have to do a thing, like, it just kind of, like, happens. Also, yeah. welcome, welcome, uh, Blackout Triple O, Mason, to the, oh, thank you. back again, as, as recorded inside of a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it, literally, I should send you the photo. <laughs> You sound. You definitely sound like you could be a voice actor in um, Sonic Adventures. Yeah, no, I'm actually in a cathedral right now. It, it's actually kind of crazy. Like, wait, do I have a cup? Do I, wait, wait, do I have? Do... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Jonah <laughs> TV. I'm recording from inside of an echo chamber. Okay. You know what's bad when Jonah holds up a mic? Oh no, a cup in front of his mic, and it sounds better than I. Have. <laughs> It hurts. Oof. Today's topic, I want to go into down the rabbit hole of modern art. <laughs> none. <laughs> what, what, what was that laugh? What's that for? None. None. Because there's a big debate on, is modern art actually art? You know? What camp do you fall in? Uh, modern. I think it depends on the modern art. You know, like Banksy. Like Banksy's kind of cool. I, I like Banksy. Yeah. Like let, here, let's that's a good starting part. Let's start with Banksy. See, like this is cool. Like look at that. Tell me that's not cool. It's a uh, My Chemical Romance. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me. Uh... So we got that, and then let's add just. <laughs> slip. Okay, oh wow, that works <laughs> That works way too well. But I need an outline. Boom, My Chemical Romance. <laughs> that works so. New album available. <laughs> available June 15th. Pre-order now. A lot of like Banksy stuff, like that's, like that's cool. Like that takes some talent to do. And like this is just like, what Ban Banksy's whole thing is like street art. Would this be, do you, would you consider this modern art or is this like street art? Is this like another, is street art different from modern art? I'd say it's street art. Okay, so it's different. So I, anyway, I like Banksy. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I sent uh, my MS Paint with touchpad uh, Banksy. Over the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's <laughs> Three cheers for sweet revenge, you say? <laughs> there have been so much better if I had a mouse. <laughs> there are. I should have used GIMP. I, I don't know why I used paint. <laughs> I wouldn't consider Pablo Picasso modern art. Would you? I don't think so. I feel like it's almost too. Well, is that Pablo Picasso? Because that looks cool. I like how you went from modern art to Pablo Picasso. It's. I googled modern art and it said Pablo Picasso. So, like, this. Like, what do you think when you see that? Mm. I don't know. I, I think a cartoon network. <laughs> it does. It looks like a 90s cartoon. Like, you could easily just... Hold on, hold on. Boom. Courage. Oh, it, like, like, tell me that doesn't fit way too well. It does like, fit pretty well. It does. Uh, like, I, I think... I think we've made it better, honestly. I think we've improved. I think Pablo Picasso really missed out on the whole 90s cartoon boom. This, this part right here looks like... Adam from Evangelion. Here's a better one. Here we go. 
That totally looks like an angel. Oh yeah, totally does. From right. Evangelion, just plastered right in the middle of Actually, it. It's kind of weird how much it looks like that. <laughs> like really, for real, it really does. Oh, that's really funny. Um, okay, I'm sending you another one now. Okay, what do you what do you got for me? I got it's another Picasso. Well, it's another gift. <laughs> <laughs> what did you even do to it? The <laughs> left side is where the hair was. And I moved it. Up. <laughs> You just, you just shifted the hair to the hard. <laughs> so if we take this, I'm doing all this work, and I realize that this is not gonna be funny at all. <laughs> so like if we go, oh, I just looked over at your screen. So wait, Jeez. wait, let me fix it. Let me fix it. And then I just need to go <laughs> select. Yeah, no, this. I had to make my camera size bigger. I forgot about that. There, yeah, I, I fixed it. <laughs> Boom. There we go. <laughs> it's so proportional. <laughs> Marge! What happened to your face, Marge? <laughs> While you were doing that, I was busy fixing Alright, let me see let me see what you got. Oh my so gosh. So that's the original. Go up. Don't mind that one. There you go, I fixed it. What did you do to it? <laughs> I made his neck smaller. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we need to move on from Picasso. Yeah, See, like, wow. look at this. It's just 12 masterpieces of 20th century painting you need to know about. I have a, a, a cousin who's like six years old who likes to draw on the walls with crayons, you know? Mm -hmm. That, this, this is what his wall looks like. It's kind of weird that these are considered like 21st century art when I feel like this is literally like 2000 to 2005. Yeah, and, and after that, it's just memes. Like, yeah, there's like, no. I feel like there's barely any more artists anymore. Look at this. This is just straight up the Babadook. Someone just drew the Babadook. You know what I'm talking about? No idea. Hold on, let me, let me look up this. This and this oh, yeah. are just the same thing. I mean, yeah. It's literally just the Babadook. And like, like I said, this one's just like some two-year-old drawing. Hold on. So like, there we go, there we go. That's the money. There's the money. Right there. And then this just up here. I move this up there. This up there. Bam. And then like that. Boom. Look, no different. <laughs> It's the same picture. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. It's just a nice frame. Like, it literally, it looks like... And look, this black line here is, like, perfectly coming down to where she's drawing. That No effort went into this. Like, yes, some effort went into this, but some guy literally just got a bunch of colors and threw them on a canvas. Like, like this? This is freaking weird. But yeah, you that's could. Cool. That's cool, though. Yeah, it's cool. You can tell like some work went into that. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. And then like same with this one. Like I actually really mm -hmm. like this. Like I love the colors and stuff. There's actually a picture of me at the Modern Art Museum in DC. You were there, right? When we went to the Modern Art Museum in DC with Emma. Yeah. Then yes. Yeah. Remember that one thing, like the neon United States thing. Hold on. Neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking Let about. Let me find a picture. This. Like, this is really cool. Like, this yeah. took, like, effort. And it, it took effort, and it took work. Like, a lot went into this. Then you look up someone like, like, ja let's look up Jackson Pollock. Like, look at that. That's just, that's just literally splotches of color. But it's so pretty, though. It's pretty, <laughs> but, like, my thing is, this thing probably sold for, like, $20 million. Funny story. After recording the video, I decided to look into this painting, and it turns out that it's actually not a Jackson Pollock, just a Jackson Pollock style of painting, and you can actually buy it on Amazon for the modest price of $69. Nice. Here's a picture of Jackson Pollock at work. He's just throwing paint onto a canvas. Like, that's like the most minimum effort thing you can do, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, you look at the Sistine Chapel, like, arguably one of the best pieces, pieces of art ever made. That took probably months to make. And then you got this- Oh no, that took literally years, dude. That took yeah, literally years. Yeah, it took years. And then you got this Jack just sitting in a New York apartment, just throwing paint on a canvas going, eh, 40 million.
Sorry, I accidentally just did something kind of cool. What did you do? Uh, I, well, I've been doing some some little doodle things. I'm mainly just putting text over things. <laughs> Show me oh, what I don't like the O. I gotta fix the O. That was one that came out when we typed in 21st century art. So I was like, oh okay. my gosh, that's mm -hmm. okay. So this is like a good tangent. So like perspective art, like this. Like, look at that. Like, that that's cool. super cool. Or this one, too. Like, these are my favorite types of stuff. Wait, hold, hold on. I've, on. I've got a... Your text thing is giving me an idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you watch this. So let me make it maximum size. So if you get... So you got me, right? And then, boom. Me, crippling depression. <laughs> wow. It looks like a thumbnail that you'd actually use. <laughs> You know what, this is gonna be the thumbnail for the video. This is definitely gonna be the thumbnail for the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually I go mean, ahead. It's not a terrible thumbnail. I mean, Export is a I feel like if it had a, I don't know. Maybe if it had like a white outline on the Yeah, text, I'll, I'll fix like it in one. post. This one's super cool. Yeah, no, there's some cool ones. Well, I misspelled that. This one's really cool. Can you imagine how much, not only just time, but like planning can go into this? And something like this too. Oh yeah, I saw that one too. Like, is he? Is that a real fishing rod he's holding? And the line? Does the I line? Think so. Like, this is crazy. Or is he part of the art? Is another question. When you look at perspective street art from like a different perspective, like this, like this is what they look like. Here's what it looks like when you're watching it, looking at it the right way, you know. And here's what it looks like. Like, look how big that is. All for oh, just, crazy. all for it to just be this at a very specific point. Like the amount of planning that goes into something like that is like crazy to me. And then you have pictures like yeah. this too. Like, like this kind of modern art stuff, I really like. Like I'm really into this kind of thing. I've seen, I've actually seen some um, perspective. Wait, wait, let me find it. Perspective art, girl with ball. Can you imagine like rounding the corner and you see that and you're like oh, driving? That, one, that one's terrible. <laughs> and you just like slam on your brakes, careen right into that car, that Volkswagen driving right next to you. You kill the motorcyclist. All because yeah. some, all because some douche decided to draw a picture of a girl thinking of a ball in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, that that was terrible. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. Here, I fit, okay, one sec. I got another one. You've got another one for me? Hit me with it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I can make this one better. Ready? There we go. I made it better for you. Let me add a little... <laughs> Let me just add, like, so you can see it. Boom. There we go. <laughs> I'll show you the way. <laughs> We're just reviving dead memes at this point now. Yeah, basically. This is gone. Where did we even start? Oh, famous, famous modern artists. Okay, here's one I really like. I wouldn't consider her modern, but Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, so she died in 1986. So this is like early 20th century art. But I really like, like, look at this. Like, these are really cool. I really like Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, well, those are really cool. Sorry, like, I, they're, I, uh, they're simple, but they have a vibrant color. They have, like, a clear composition. We spent a whole, like, three weeks on Georgia O'Keeffe when I took an art class, which is where I realized I had zero talent for art. I think my sketchbook, I mean, from, that, my sketchbook from that class is somewhere in, in here, in my room. Uh, that might be a fun... I fixed Uganda Knuckles, by the way. You fixed Uganda Knuckles? Yeah, he looks more more character like. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> That's legit a lady, by the way. <laughs> you just painted over a lady. Yeah, no, it's a lady. Yeah, Is the original or not? Uh, no, I think it's funnier with no context. <laughs> Hold on, let me My see if I can like. Is choosing a red that was too bright. <laughs> let me, let me, um, let's actually like, go into this. All right, and then just like <laughs> oh, there you add go. add the little. Actually, oh yeah, but well, you give him the Sanic little quills. Oh. No, it's have you not seen Uganda Knuckles? He looks just like this. Okay. Boom. 
<laughs> I'll show you the way. <laughs> On a scale of 9 to 10, how much do you think we approve this street art? Uh, 10. Yeah, I would say 10 is 10 as well. I think this is what it should have originally been. Like this, I could see, I could hang up in my in my room. Like I would have an art oh, print of this in my room. Right? I have like, I have three <laughs> art prints that I own. Two of them are these, bless you, well, geez. Are you okay? No, that wasn't a sneeze. That was me spitting out in laughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I would say, I could see myself, like, hanging this, because the three art prints I own is, one is Van Gogh, which is the, uh, it's the cafe at night, which is, like, my favorite mm -hmm. Van Gogh painting. And then the other two are these cool, really, really cool, like, ancient Chinese artworks. I forget the name. One of them, it translates to, like, Rapids at Ginsheng or something like that. And another one is just like Mountain Mist or some generic name. But like these, these are cool. And then like she also has this one too, which like oh, this has a lot. Mean. This just looks like um, this just looks like Sands. Like yeah, yeah it's it kinda, is Sands. <laughs> it straight up just kind of looks like Sands. Yeah, Georgia O'Keeffe. Check her out. I like her. I don't think we need to improve on any of her paintings. They're all kind of perfect already. Oh, I've seen these. Oh, uh, they're all sculptures. Yeah, like the really skinny, creepy kind of looking sculptures. Like they this, cool. this is straight out of Resident Evil. Like, yeah, I, I get that vibe too. They remind me of something else. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, either. this reminds me of like Slenderman or like like Siren Head. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's Siren Head. What if he kind of looks familiar? Like I've seen this guy before. Are you really gonna try and improve on a sculpture? Yes. And then I think what we need, what this is missing, we we have to add the 5G cell tower to it. Of course. <laughs> of course. Like, you have to. This is taking a lot of time and effort. I'm not gonna get this exact, I don't really care. It's like the same color. And then kind color. of shift it. Bam. There's our new creepypasta character. 5G cell tower, man. And you know what, just to add um, some extra, what was the, was it the Galaxy Note 6? Yeah, uh, the one that was in Note the one that exploded. Actually, it was the Galaxy Note 7. Um, just to add some like extra firepower, you know? He's gotta Why be able not? he's gotta be able to attack you and stuff. So let's give him like in his little hand a Galaxy Note 6 that he can hurl at the non-believers. Okay. Boom. There we go. 5G cell tower man, right here. What do you think of that? There we go. Oh my god, yeah, that's actually really good. He looks like a uh, bit of... Yeah, he looks like Siren Head. Yeah, there we go. 5G cell tower man. Coming to a r slash creepypasta near you. Here's my pitiful... What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make him tiny? Yeah, no, that's his normal size. He just, he just likes Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh he, my he god. He doesn't have arms. <laughs> so you made you made this great artist statue do the Nazi salute? Is that what you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's Italian, I mean <laughs> I mean wait wait, when was he when when did he live again? He's born in twenty two. He was nineteen twenty two? Albert oh, he was born in 01. Oh, yeah, he was born in nineteen so yeah, he lived through World War Two. Yeah, just barely. But he was born in Switzerland. He's actually Swiss. Oh, he was Swiss. He was Swiss. So, I mean, they I were neutral. Hitler, he could have been pro Hitler. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, let's move on to somebody else now. What did Le Corbusier do? Oh, he was an architect. Here we go. So, like, modern architecture is a form of art. Yeah. What do you think of that building? Yeah. What do you think? It's nice. I'm not sure. It's not my style, to be honest. Yeah. I, it, prefer, I prefer the white one. Here, hit the right arrow key. Yeah, I prefer, well, not specifically that one, but I, I like that one better. Yeah. See, here's my problem with this one. You look behind it and you see these, like, beautiful, I, I want to say, like, Renaissance-looking buildings. And then mm -hmm. this guy just plops this right in the middle of it. Like, it totally ruins the whole feel of the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, it totally destroys the feel of the neighborhood. Like, I would be fine if this building was right next to this building, you know? But when you plop it into, like, this old world-style village, it just completely ruins the whole, like, sight line. I would think that a good architecture could build 
really cool buildings like this, but also have them match the architecture around it. Like I would totally live in that house, assuming that's what it is. But I would not live in this house in this neighborhood. Whoa, look at this. That's really cool. I wonder if it, it's that, that it was cool. built to be like that. Look, it's meant to be in the water. That's cool. That's really cool. I love that. Okay, so it's a scale model of one of its buildings that someone purposely sunk in a Danish fjord as a statement about the Brexit vote and Donald Trump's election. Wow. I don't know about you. I don't see it. I don't get it. I'm going to be I honest. Don't I don't get it. See, I like this. Look at this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is really cool with like all the greenery around it and it matches its surroundings. Like you look outside, same color of green. You look inside, all this greenery. It was at this point where we really didn't know where to take this video next. So here's the result of that. You know what Modern House kind of like really upsets me? What? Do you know the uh, the Kombucha King? Are you aware of the Kombucha King? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. Like, GT like, Dave. Yeah, GT Dave. So let's like, if okay, we look I'm up GT Dave's house, this looks like the coldest, most like uncomfortable place to live in the world. Like, could you imagine eating like you know, you order Papa John's and you plop it down on this table and you sit on this chair with this around you to eat your Papa John's. Like no, that's no. It, it's too clean. Like I feel like it you is. Can't live there. Yeah, right. Like this looks like a. <laughs> this looks like. Hold on. If if we just save this image. Okay. Mm -hmm. So get this right. We got GT Day's kitchen right here. You know what I mean. And then let's just yeah, add. Target. Boom. Target. I could see this hanging up. In one of Target's stores, like in the home decor section. Oh yeah, I can see. Like that look, easily. Easy. So we have this beautiful Target section, right? And then we just plop this right in the center, mm -hmm. and like hang it up. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like okay. right there, bam. Look, like that <laughs> looks. It looks totally natural. Like yeah, it does. right, it looks like it totally fits. <laughs> Right, and GT Day spent. Hold on, let me look up how much money his freaking house caught. Thirty million dollars. He spent thirty million dollars on his house, right? And look how well it fits in a freaking Target store. <laughs> Nothing looks oh, says overly rich like Target. Am I right? Now here's the part of the video where it really went off the rails, and we just started looking at GT Day's neighbors on Google Street View. This is a nice front. This looks like a decent house. From the outside. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. Like that's a really nice house, and I'm sure that his neighbor's house is also insane. Okay, this must be his actual house. So remember in the Cody Co video, this is where they entered. Yeah. yeah. So like this is his showroom kind of thing, and that's his actual house. And I guess yeah, you, can, like, you can see like his gardener right here <laughs> taking out taking out the trash. Wait, is this look? He has like a Hitler mustache. <laughs> Do you see that <laughs> beneath he the floor? <laughs> <laughs> poor Gardner. Oh, that sucks. Not poor Gardner. He chose to have that mustache. GT Day's neighbors. Look uh -huh. at this. Like, you could barely even see it. And I already can tell that this is a phenomenal house. They have their own logo on their gate. Look, <laughs> they have a logo on the gate. This house looks very out of place. Like, I'm sure it's huge. When you actually look at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure it is nice. But, but like, that looks, looks older. It looks older. It looks kind of old. Let's see, let's go down more. This just looks like a bunker. Like this looks like a rich person's bunker. And then you go right next door to their neighbor's house. And I, this looks not that great. I don't like this. I don't like the cheap like strip no, mall. Like, like the cheap it strip like mall. A garage. Like, it doesn't look like a house. Exactly. Yeah, like I could see this like on a strip mall right next to like a subway. Oh look, wait, 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 let's go back. This person must have a child. Cause look, that's a kid's bike. Or they could have stolen it. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure all the residents of Beverly Hills are just going what around. Doing here? Like, kick him off the bike. And it's like, oh, I'm walking home. <laughs> just you get G2 Dave just like shoving a four-year-old off of his freaking Spider-Man no, bike. He Dave wouldn't do it. He would have somebody else do it. <laughs> his Hitler gardener, man. <laughs> just that old gardener, just a hey, kid. Just go up to a kid on a Spider-Man bike, shove him off, go, this is property of GT Dave, the Kabucha King now, and just drives away. 
<laughs> like leaves behind a little <laughs> bottle of like the worst <laughs> flavor of kombucha that they have. Like the reject batch. <laughs> it's just the kombucha. <laughs> You know, the back of the ball is like this nice message from like GT Dave about like Eastern spirituality and Eastern medicine. <laughs> it's like signed GT Dave. <laughs> and the kid goes back inside. He's like, Mom, Mom, Hitler came and stole my bike from GT Dave. And there's like, That's nice to me. <laughs> uh, I imagine it like a Jack and the Beanstalk situation where he has to like trade his bike for like kombucha and he has to like. <laughs> <laughs> the kombucha, like the culture at the bottom of the kombucha, starts growing and growing, and it becomes sentient. Yeah, and it just there, turns into the, the stock. <laughs> it's like he has to battle GT Dave, one v one, like the Fortnite back. battle. He challenges GT Dave to a Fortnite battle royale. <laughs> but like, but like, so like the kombucha grows, and becomes sentient, but it becomes like befriends little Timmy, and like they they both like the sentient blob of kombucha and. Little Timmy have to band together to battle GT Dave for his company, and the, the yeah. Sorry. Little Timmy's like, "Don't worry, Mister Kabucha Man. I'll make sure you're never can you'll never be consumed by a white college girl ever again." Because like, those are the only people I know, other than myself, who eat drink kombucha are like white college girls. You know what I mean? Like they have signs in their house to say "Live, Laugh, Love," like wooden yeah. hand carved signs and like calligraphy wow that that was a tangent that went yeah that went way off do you think we should just end it there i feel like we've accomplished a lot well. i mean that's a, that's pretty long thank you for joining us on this episode of down the rabbit hole which is what i'm deciding yeah, to call yeah. this series um yeah if you have some topics and rabbit holes you want us to fall down uh let us know down in the comments below uh check out mason's channel blackout triple o link in the description mm -hmm. JDM Blackout, but it still works. You'll find me. JDM Blackout, sure. He he uploads. <laughs> uh, he uploads occasionally. Anyway, see you guys in, right. in the next yeah. video. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. I wish I had a better.